Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Lenny Sister with Nani and I'm a girl Nani. Guys, if you are new to this channel, you're welcome. Thank you for joining us. I hope you get glued to this channel. If you are a returning subscriber, I love you. Thank you for all the love and support you show me on this channel. Today, I'll be making an off shoulder gathered dress, and for my off shoulder, I want a minus 4.5. So, placing my tape from my starting point, I'll place it at 4.5, then I'll mark the half length plus half inch in my allowance. So, my half length is 16 plus half inch in my allowance is 16 and half. Now, I'll mark the bust point. The bust point is 9 and half plus half inch in my allowance, that's 10 inches. So the next thing will be to derive my chest line and the chest line is derived by dividing the bust measurement by 6 plus 1.5 and doing that gives me 9.5. So that is my chest line. Remember I'm placing my tape at minus 4.5 to get all these measurements. Now at the shoulder point I'll be marking half of my shoulder measurement minus 2 inches to get my, my upper bust measurement. Alright so half of my shoulder is seven minus two gives me five so i'll be adding half inch to join the sleeves to it okay so this is half inch now the next thing will be to take my body measurements the bust divided by four plus two inches i'll be marking that on the chest line is the same as marking the quarter of your bust measurement so if you have quarter of your bust measurement it means the bust divided by four they will be adding the allocated same allowance to it now on the half length i'll be marking quarter of the waist measurement like i said it's the same as marking your waist measurement divided by four now in this case i won't be adding two inches same allowance i'll be adding three inches and if you're wondering if it is because i will be using one inch for the dart allowance all right so now on the armhole i'll connect in a slanted line from the sh shoulder to the armhole or to the chest line and that takes care of my armhole so for the neckline i'm just going to leave it as a straight neckline all right so now on the half length i'll be marking half of the bust bar measurement close half inch all right so i'll take that line up to the bust point like so now i'll be taking a dart of half inch on both sides of the bust pan line okay so i'll draft out my dart like so then that is it for the front pattern now for this off shoulder it's pretty easy it doesn't have a bustier cup it doesn't have any padding or anything to enhance the bust area but if you want to learn how to make that I have the videos right there on my channel you can check that out all right so for the back I'll just place my front pattern on another fabric adding my 1.5 inches for zip allowance and that is it so you can see what I have here is 1.5 inches for zip allowance so I'll go ahead and slash open my zip allowance because that is where I'll be attaching my zip so it needs to be slashed open now on that 1.5 inches i would highlight the point so that i can get a notch at that point okay and it is because i need to know when i'm fixing my zip i need to notch it so that when i'm fixing my zipper it will be easy for me
okay so now i've cut out my lining the same way the same as the fabric then i've gone to turn the fabric with the lining okay you can see everywhere is cleanly finished i turned the top the bottom and the two sides and the same thing for the two back pieces okay i've turned everywhere with my lining i've sewn in my dart i use the contrasting thread so you can see i've sewn in my dart and i've turned the upper part in my lining and also turn the sides now this is the front pattern i've sewn the darts turned it with my lining so that everything is looking clean and i've also ironed this now i've also gathered my the lower part okay i went ahead to overlock the edges okay we don't want to have our our fabric fraying okay so now i added a net under underneath okay just the normal two net my clients wants the net to be longer than the fabric than the main fabric so that the net will be showing okay so i've gone ahead to overlock the net with the black thread okay so the net will just be coming out from underneath the dress okay so now what i'll go is do is to go sew the the sides together okay so place the the front on the back okay or the back on the front and taking the measurements first of all you just go and sew up your remaining zip allowance okay my zip allowance was 1.5 so i use half inch to turn with lining so i have one inch remaining so i'll go and sew up one inch on the zip part then taking my measurements on the side okay all right so i've taken in my measurements as, as you can see so i've taken in the body measurements and at the back the same thing so what i'll do is to open up the zip allowance okay that i've already sewn please don't open your hands if you're not sure so you don't rip your fabric please don't try this at home okay i used the the stitch the the, the lowest stitch oh god i'm confused on my machine so that i have a bit of loose stitch okay now so what i'll do is to attach the gathered part round the upper bodies okay to round it so i'll just attach it all round feed the gathered part all round the top okay then this is my lining i've overlocked the lining the width of the lining is the same as the width of the dress but the lining will be shorter on the length by three inches okay so i've gone to sew the gathered part to the top okay to the upper bodies you can see the net flowing from underneath the net is longer than the dress itself than the skirt part itself all right so you can see it's beautiful i've gathered it around the, the waist it is so beautiful okay so now for us to conceal the inner part okay i'm going to be using my lining to turn this you can see the net out all right so i'll turn into the inside as you can see so i've already overlocked edges okay but i don't want this to be showing outside of my dress so i'm going to use my lining to conceal the rough edges so the lining the width of the lining is the same as the fabric but the length is this fabric is longer by three inches okay so if your fabric is 26 it means the lining is 23 inches, inches for the length so i'll go and gather the lining or I'll just split it around the fabric okay now what it means is that the right side of the line will be facing the rough edges okay so that when you turn it with the lining to conceal the the way you turn with the lining to conceal the inner part now i've gone to my sewing machine and i've sewn i've gathered you can see the inside okay i got that the lining on it the right side of the lining will just face the the rough edge okay and you just gather the lining so what i did was to pleat my lining all through so that when i flip it you can see there are no rough edges now everywhere is so clean cleanly finished as you can see so, you, so by when i show you the inside of my fabric you won't be seeing any stitch like any rough edges okay so everywhere is cleanly finished okay so what i'll just do is to take it to my 
sewing machine come to the zipper point okay so from the half length i'll measure six to seven inches okay six to seven inches and i'll make a mark at either six or seven inches depending on how you want or what you want so i make a mark there then close up from that seven inches down okay then i'll go attach my sleeve now for the sleeve okay you see that the sleeve is now very small so if you attach your sleeve your client will be able to move her hands like this and this is one of the mistakes people make when making off shoulders okay they forget to trim out the armhole if you leave it as small as it is your client won't be able to move her hands you can see it is so small all right so remember we did a minus 4.5 so by the time we are done turning with lining okay we'll get five inches now the chest line is eight inches so i place my tape at minus five inches then mark eight inches that's what i've done then i also measure the upper bust okay remember i have seven minus 1.5 the shoulder is 14 divided by two is seven so seven minus 1.5 gives us 5.5 times two that will give us 11 all right so you want to make sure that on this upper part you have 11 inches now i've measured i have 13 inches okay so these are the things you have to consider so i'll take out one inch on both sides okay one inch to the left one inch to the right okay so when i measure what i have in there now you see i have 11 inches and that is what i need okay so these are the things you need to do when making your off shoulder so you don't have a very tight armhole and your client finds it difficult to move her hands when wearing the outfit okay so when i measure now you see that i have five inches unlike before that i had around two and a half and so you can see these are some of the sewing errors we make and this is a way to correct it so the same thing i did to the other side remember it's minus four and a half so after turning with my line i have minus five so from there i mark eight inches which is the chest line and connect it so i'll just go and trim it out you also want to measure the same thing at the back okay just to be sure that the back is also okay so remember we have one inch zip allowance at the back now we had one and a half so i used the lining to turn so i have one inch left so then i'll mark my 5.5 remember it's on this part now it's separate so what i have there is just about quarter of an inch okay so the back part is okay now we'll just trim that out now the same thing we we'll do it to our sleeve you can see that after turning the lining of my sleeve i also have a very small sleeve opening so i'll do the same thing okay i'll get the front okay i'll just pick out the front pattern pick out only the front just the front fold it into two okay now remember when we did our calculations we had four inches at for the top of the sleeve so i'm going to bring my tape and mark four inches. so you can see i have more than four inches now so now i'll just mark the four inches then place the the four the front just like we did at the while we were cutting the sleeve okay just place what we have then and trace the shape like so okay so i'll take it out and trace it properly as you can see so you now have your sleeve bigger than it was before okay so when i cut that out this would now accommodate the armhole of the person properly you can move your hands do wave your hands okay so this is the new sleeve so what i'll do is now if i place this sleeve now on the fa on the main fabric you can see that it matches up you can see exactly the same thing so this would help you make the best fit of shoulder like a perfect fit all right so what i'll do is to use this this other part to trim out the other part of the sleeve okay so i'll just place it on it make sure that all the sides properly align okay you don't want to have one bigger or smaller than the other all right so when it properly aligns i'll just trim out the SS. okay so i'll just use my chalk because the fabrics are are the same so that you know where i'm cutting out okay so it doesn't confuse us 
so i'll take it out then trim it out so if you do this i promise you you won't have a tight armhole when you make your off shoulder you'll be able to move your hands properly or freely yes all right so this is it i hope this helps touching the sleeves closing up the back fixing in my zipper this is the outcome of the dress we've just made and as you can see it is so beautiful so if you found this video helpful please like share and subscribe